This video will show you how to install your RT310i thermostat and receiver and check operation. The RT310i is a programmable room thermostat and receiver pack. The receiver and thermostat will be prepared at the factory. Inside the box you will find the programmable thermostat, the boiler receiver, the installation quick guide, two AA batteries for the thermostat, a freestanding bracket, the fixing kit for mounting the receiver and thermostat on the wall, ethernet cable, gateway power cord and the internet gateway. First let's look at the features of the receiver. On the front are two slider switches. The first slider switch is the main on and off switch. The second switch is the manual override switch. When set in manual mode the boiler will run continually. Auto mode means the receiver is controlled by the thermostat. The top LED when red indicates that the receiver is powered on. The bottom LED when green indicates that the thermostat is calling for heat and the boiler will be running. The receiver requires mains 230 volt power to operate and installation should be carried out by a competent person. The typical position for the receiver is near to the boiler and the mains power is taken from the independent power circuit for the central heating system. Firstly, isolate the power by removing the fuse from the fuse spur. Fix the wall mounting bracket in your desired location. Connect mains power to the live and neutral contacts on the receiver. For 230 volt applications, connect a link wire between the main 230 volt live and the COM terminal. The NO terminal now gets connected to the 230 volt terminal on your boiler. For low voltage or volt free applications, connect the live and neutral as before. Then connect two wires to the receiver, one to the COM and one to the NO. Both these wires are connected to the low voltage terminal of the boiler. Fit the receiver to the back plate on the wall and secure the locking screws. Replace the fuse in the fuse spur and switch on the power supply. The receiver should now be powered and the red light will be flashing to indicate it's ready to associate to the thermostat. Now go to the RT310i thermostat and slide the door downwards to reveal the battery compartment. Take a note of the SRT number as you will need this to register your device. Now insert the batteries. The thermostat will now boot up and the LCD screen will show a display. Drop the slide door to reveal the test pair buttons. Since the thermostat and receiver are prepared, press and hold the test button for a short period and release. TE is displayed. Check the receiver and you should see red and green lights flashing. The devices are now associated. The thermostat will count back 10 minutes and return to the display screen. You can speed this up by a further one second press on the test button again. You will notice the red light on the receiver is now solid. Turn the thermostat up and the green light on the receiver will come on, indicating the boiler is on. Now take your RT310i gateway. The ethernet cable connects at the right hand side. Take the power cable supplied and connect to the gateway on the left. Now connect the ethernet cable to your Wi-Fi router. Once the gateway has power and internet connection, the light indicator on the gateway will be green. Download the RT310i app from the App Store or from Google Play. Open the app and press on the register button. Now enter your email address and confirm your email. Create a password and press next to move to the next step. You will have been sent a confirmation email with an activation code. Enter the activation code supplied and press submit. 
Now enter your name and address and press Next to confirm. You will now be asked for the SRT code that you wrote down earlier. Now name your device. The menu screen allows you to make changes to your device. The changes include time zone, clock format and temperature display. If any changes are made, press save and the app will direct you to the main control screen.